In this Cisco Tech Talk, we'll show you how to set up the Cisco Business Dashboard Pro in VMware ESXi. An instance of Cisco Business Dashboard Probe is required for each site in our network that we want to manage. The probe discovers the network, collects performance and configuration data from the discovered devices, and reports that information back to the dashboard. The first thing we'll do is download the Cisco Business Dashboard Probe software for VMware from Cisco website. To do this, we'll navigate to the Cisco Business Dashboard support page, which is referenced in the description of this video. Once on the page, we'll go to the Downloads tab. Under Probe Software, we'll click on the Download Options. We need to locate the Download option for Virtual Machine Image for VMware and click the Download icon. In this case, we are downloading the 2.3.0 Probe version. Now we need to make sure we have a working VMware virtualization environment available to host the virtual machine. In this case, we are using the ESXi version 7.0.0. To create the virtual machine, we'll click on the Create or Register VM option. Then we'll select the Deploy a Virtual Machine from an OVF or OVA file option as we have downloaded the probe virtual machine image in signed OVA file format and click Next. Here, we will enter a name for the virtual machine. We will use cbd underscore 2.3.0 underscore new underscore probe. Now we'll go ahead and click on the click to select files or drag drop option. Locate the probe file that we have just downloaded and click open. Then go ahead and click on next. We need to select a data store for the virtual machine. In this case, data store one is selected by default. We will keep the same and click next again. Now we need to select the deployment options. We will leave the default settings here and hit next. Here we can verify the settings. Everything looks good. So we'll click on finish. We can see the process has started now under recent tasks. This process will take some time to complete. We need to make sure the network interface on the newly created virtual machine is connected and bridged to the correct physical interface on the host machine. The network interface of the Cisco Business Dashboard Pro should be connected to a VLAN containing the management interfaces for at least one of the network devices. If the probe is not directly connected to at least one network device, it may be unable to fully discover the network. Once the task's result shows as completed successfully, we will go ahead and click on the name of the virtual machine we just created. We can see the virtual machine is powered on currently. Now we will click on the console. We need to enter the login, which is Cisco, and then the password, which is Cisco as well, all lowercase, and hit enter. We will need to change the password now for the login Cisco. We will enter Cisco for the current password, and then type in our new password and hit enter. We need to retype the new password again, so we will enter the same password again and hit enter. We need to repeat the same process one more time. We will do that. Now we can see the Cisco Business Dashboard Probe has been initialized and the administration GUI IP is reflecting. Now we will open a browser and enter the administration GUI IP address to access the Cisco Business Dashboard Probe GUI. We will likely get a page that looks similar to this. Your connection is not private. This page is appearing since the probe has a self-signed certificate on it initially. So this screen is normal. We will click on Advanced and then select Proceed to 172.16.1.170. Here, we need to enter the username, which is Cisco, and password, which again is Cisco, all lowercase. Now we need to update the login information and change the default user. We need to select a username we want to use. In this case, we'll use admin. Then we will enter the old password, which is Cisco, all lowercase, and then type in the new password and retype the new password and click Save. Now we'll get the option to establish the dashboard connection. We can skip that option as well. But in this case, we'll go ahead and enter the IP address of the Cisco Business Dashboard Manager we wish to connect to this probe and click Finish. We can also use a domain name here. 
If we're using a domain name, then we need to make sure that the probe will need to be able to resolve the domain name. Now we need to enter the username and password for Cisco Business Dashboard to authenticate and click Login. Here we need to enter the name of the network as well as the location to associate or create a network and then click Finish. Now we can see that the Cisco Business Dashboard has been connected with the domain we've specified. Also, we'll be able to see the different options available under Administration menu in Cisco Business Dashboard Probe. On the Cisco Business Dashboard Manager, we will navigate to Network Menu and we can see the newly created network. We will click on that network name to see the network topology. And that's all there is to it. That's how we can set up the Cisco Business Dashboard Probe 2.3.0 in VMware ESXi. Thanks for watching this Cisco Tech Talk. We'll see you next time.